Hey friends, Flair here with another streamer tutorial. Tonight I'm going to show you how to update StreamerBot. Uh, every time a new version comes out, I see people on Twitter and Discord saying, uh, hey, I downloaded the new version, uh, I installed it, and now everything I set up is gone. How, how do I fix it? Um, and it's, it's really pretty easy to do. Um, you just need to follow a couple simple instructions. So I'm going to show you how. Let's get into it. Okay, first things first, I want to make a quick backup of my whole streamer bot folder, um, just in case. Uh, mine is personally inside of my OBS portable folder, uh, but that's a whole topic for another video. I'm just going to copy the whole thing, paste it, and I'm going to leave it as copy. You could name it whatever backup, or you can move it somewhere else, it doesn't matter. Um, but anyway, um, before you get started, before you download anything, you want to have two folders open. One is going to be the location of your streamer bot folder, and the other is going to be your download folder or wherever you're going to download this file. Then, just open your browser, go to streamer.bot, grab the newest version, currently 0.1.8. Uh, download it into my download folder. I'm going to extract it. And then now that that's open, I'm just going to select all and copy that into my existing streamer bot folder. That's it. Now that I've got the files moved, if I open up streamer bot, it's gonna, Windows is going to yell at me because I haven't run it yet because it's technically a new file and then it's going to load like normal. Oh, it's going to want me to connect to stuff again, but that's fine. Because it needs, the new version needs new permissions. Okay. Let's... So now that Stream Elements is connected again, um, I just need to reconnect my Twitch account. You can go into Platforms, Twitch, and Accounts here. Um, it retained my bot account, but needs a re new connection to my main broadcaster account because um, it needs new permissions. Um, and it may pop up your browser and ask you to authorize again, or it may not if you've already done that recently. And that's it. If uh, everything worked well, you should see all your actions and commands and everything just as you always have, although there's some updates to the general layout. Um, if you are having any kind of trouble, please feel free to comment on this video and I'll try to help you. As always, I appreciate any likes or subscribes or comments. And uh, I look forward to making the next video. Have a good one.